Welcome to our three cabin tour on board the Amadara River Cruise Ship. In this video we show you a balcony cabin, a suite and finally the best cabin available, the luxury suite. Right then, let's give you a tour of our cabin on Amadara. We have had booked cabin 302, which is a category B cabin, isn't it, Paulie? Category B. This cabin is situated right at the aft of the ship. Now, what that means is, now we're actually going along at the moment, and you can tell there's no offensive noises or vibrations or anything like that. What you do get is when you're manoeuvring into dock or out to dock because they have to use bow thrusters and stuff like that you do get some vibration but obviously that happens twice a day worst case scenario have a look at the deck plan here and you'll see you've got two luxury suites on the ship which are obviously like the nicest suites on board then you've got regular suites and then you've got balcony cabins and then they're split into three categories the category goes from a b and c yeah. so let's show you around so let's start in the bathroom then Pauline. So the bathroom has been superb. The size of the shower has been absolutely excellent, particularly for Paul's big shoulders. So if you look at the floor space, if you open the door again, Paulie, and you can just see how much floor space there is. There's tons of room. Yeah. You get shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel yeah. provided. And like I said, obviously all your towels, the rooms are made up every day. Yeah. So if you want fresh towels every day, you can have fresh towels every day, so that's no problem at all. You've got a hair dryer. Yeah. You've got, strangely, which would never happen in England, is you've got ele electric sockets in the bath. Yeah, well, that so we're using happen. that to charge. But it's been good. Order 360. Good. Yeah. So, and you've got a shaving mirror. It's, it is quite light in here. Yeah. For shaving. And you've also got some storage space yeah. underneath for more of your toiletries. But it's worked really well for us, hasn't yeah, it, Paulie? Really well, yeah. Can't no complaints at all. And then outside here, you've got um, some shelving where we've kept some clothes, and you've got a safe. Now the safe is fairly big, but it's not deep enough for for laptops, uh, unless you've got a very very small laptop. But it's been perfect for keeping all our valuables safe. Then you've got a two door wardrobe, uh, which has been fairly big. Now we put one of our suitcases in, check out our vlogs because we've had traumas with our suitcases. We put that in here because you can't get them under the bed. No. So, but the, a decent sized wardrobe here with your life jackets at the top there. Get some nice silky robes. You do, you do. So let's just move along here. You also can get your laundry done, which is really reasonable, and we'll show you the costs here, which we've done twice, and it's been fabulous, very efficient. But as you can see, the cabin, it's been a lovely space, hasn't it, Paul? It's been great. It's been absolutely excellent. We've got a, the bed's very, very comfortable. The pillows are very soft, um, but they've been fine, haven't they? We do prefer a little firmer pillow. But here you'll see you've got... Um, the electric sockets which will fit flat pin or round pin and this is our adapters that we bring um, on here and you can get obviously a plug into USB so do check out our Amazon shop if you want to find out all about those and you've got lights which uh, both sides of the bed now you haven't got electric plugs on your side no, of the I bed have no. you but you'll find more electric plugs just behind here you can see behind our suitcase there's another uh, electric plug down there so then you've got a nice desk area where uh, Paulie the Panda's been spending his time. Yeah, yeah. And you've got a TV. It's been a bit too hot for him to get out, to be honest. <laughs> but we, were, we left him in the cabin in the air conditioning. Uh, TV-wise, only five channels. Channel one is all about Animal Waterways cruises. You've got an Asian sports channel which will show replays of recently played football matches and you've got a news channel and you've got two movie channels. We haven't had time to watch telly, it's been such a busy cruise, but uh, but you've got also got this old fashioned phone that um, reception sometimes rings up and just checks, checks on you and stuff. And then you've got a, a drawer here with all our bits and bobs in. And then we've got a fridge, which has been great. And you get two bottles of water every day, which has been, uh, been lovely. This corner has been my favorite corner because if you can see around here, the air con is just over there and it blows. And this is the, what we call the cool corner. It's a lovely, comfortable little two-seater sofa. With We've got lights here to one light for up there. 
and you've obviously got the the lights for for the balcony one thing about sitting on the balcony on the mekong at night if you've got lights in your cabin you can get a lot of flies a lot, lot of flies but in the day it's been absolutely yeah, fine so let's show you well, before we show them like that let's show them this bit first so obviously uh, yes it's not just a balcony cabin it's also I think you did. You call it a Juliet. Well, I thought it was a Juliet, but that's not a Juliet. Okay. It's a it's a big window. It's a sliding that door goes all the way to yes. the bottom, and you can poke, you can poke your head out. You can and watch the world go by. But the beauty of the cabins on the Amadara is you also get a balcony, which is unusual. Some river cruise ships have them, but um, the ones that we've been on in Europe didn't. So, but you can see you've got a decent sized balcony out here. Uh, which gives you fabulous views of the Mekong River. And like I say, we've been so busy on excursions, we've spent a little bit of time out here, but not so many. And Paul's demonstrating, obviously, um, the two areas that you've got to get outside. This so, is how, in case you didn't know, this is how you watch the world go by, like right? that. Exactly. <laughs> so let's now show you around a suite, and a luxury suite, on board the Amadara. Right then, so we've been kindly given access by some lovely fellow passengers to look at a suite, and it's 311, so it's on the third deck. Let's just have a look around, and we'll show you the difference from our standard balcony. As you, soon as you get through the door, you see a, a wardrobe with a safe, and it looks exactly the same as ours, uh, with all the shelving and the two-door wardrobe. And then when you come into the main room, look at the space that they've got. This is a lot lot bigger than ours in fact the bed looks a lot bigger and if you notice that the bed is actually facing the the windows the to the balcony which is really nice so you lie in bed and just obviously watch the view so if i start over here you'll see that there's um, exactly the same as us with the phone and all, obviously all the storage looks exactly the same they've got a larger sitting area and an extra chair you've obviously got the window there that opens up like ours does and look, but look at all the extra room. And then they've got two um, cabinets by the bed with the plugs. So you've got plugs either side of the bed in this cabin, which we've only got one on ours. And then you've got your TV. So if you have a look at here in the balcony, you'll see that, I'm just gonna unlock that. You'll see that it's a lot wider, obviously, because the cabin's bigger. And you're right sort of in the middle of the ship here. So you won't get any of the humming of the engines, etc. So yeah, so that's uh, uh, so that's really good. I'm going to take you round this way, and we're going to go and have a look at the bathroom because that's very different. So if we just walk this way, and then we'll just go here. So look at the bathroom. Look at the floor space, and they've got a bath. So how amazing that! It's a jacuzzi bath. So that's a huge difference. So our cabin stops at around about here. Um, but there's go on for a bath. So if you are cruising on Amadara and you want to treat yourself to a little bit of extra space and you enjoy your baths, then this is the cabin for you. Right then, so we've been given the opportunity to have a look around a luxury suite 317. And let's start with the storage here. So as you can see, you've got a safe there, which is a same size as in our standard balcony but there is more storage because you've got three doors on the wardrobe and i'm going to spin around here and go straight to the bathroom and show you what a fabulous space this is huge jacuzzi bath his and her sink and you've got the shower that's the same size as ours well it might be even bigger actually looking at the floor space but as you say it's a fabulous fabulous space so back into the main room and you'll see fantastic sized bed and behind the curtains because it's night time now is a, 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 a french balcony yes french balcony <laughs> okay, right. ah, and then towards here you'll see the difference with this suite is that you've got two recliners and a huge the width is a lot bigger than the suite and our standard balcony you've got your tv and you've also got a, a desk and you've got a Welsh dresser there as well so you've got lots lots more storage in here and the foot space is just uh, huge from a electric point of view you've got we got outlets and yeah there's outlets there for either side of the bed mm -hmm. and you've got outlets at the desk at the desk yeah so um so if you feel like splashing out and you want that extra space 
then uh, definitely this is the cabin for you. <laughs> so that's our cabin tour of Amadara. Do check out our ship tour too and our vlog series. This has been just a, an, a, one amazing cruise, isn't it, Paulie? Top three of our best cruises ever. I didn't really know what to expect. And I have to say, every day has been a constant surprise. Every day has been early starts, but every day has been a constant but absolutely pleasurable surprise. It has. It's certainly been a cruise like no other. Yeah. So go and check out all those videos and we'll catch up with you soon.